Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Of something I've been thinking about for doing, trying to do for a little while. Um, over here in Ireland we have lots of stone walls dividing up the fields and things and they're all, a lot of them are overgrown and trees grow on them and they all around them and stuff. So I wanted to do one for quite a while. Um, I were, I've been kind of trying to find some good stone to to build the wall and so far I haven't had much success so today I just decided I'd experiment so I got a piece of this grey polystyrene stuff and I carved out stone wall on it an old stone wall so I'm gonna go with this for now see how it goes and maybe one day I'll replace it with a real stone wall so all I did was I just got a stick like this and then I just scratched in the stones like that all around till I got them all and then I just give it a light going over with this just to kind of harden it off so it's not all breaking apart uh, there's no point doing the back because I'm going to fill in behind it so the only thing I will do now is I'm just going to get some a bit of muck, a bit of compost in it. I'm just going to rub it on just so it kind of gets into all the cracks and things and hopefully I'll get eventually I'll keep doing this whenever I can and try and get some moss growing into all the cracks which it should do eventually I would say hopefully It's not the best compass stuff, this is just stuff I dug out of a nice plant ahead. But just like that, just to give it a bit, and like that, I'll just keep adding and maybe I can stick some moss and stuff into the into the holes and try and get them to take. Okay, so this is the pot I'm going to use. Uh, I just need a piece of drainage cloth for that side. It's got big holes in it, this one. The other thing that I was a bit, a bit puzzled which to do is to which trees to put in it. But I brought in a few small ones to have a look and we'll make a decision then. Okay, so first thing I'll do out of the way is I'll just put a little base layer of soil in. I could cement over this polystyrene and do it that way. Maybe that'll be something I do in the future, but just for now, we'll leave it just the polystyrene because it's gray and it kind of has a stone look about it. I thought we'll go with it. Okay, so my idea, I'm hoping it will stay in here. If not, I can always glue it put a touch of bit of glue in it but hopefully once it's packed in there it should stay hopefully okay so my plan was to build up the back and put this fellow in here this is a I think it's a type of an oak cypress or something I'm not 100% sure but if I build the back up put him in there um, I have a few other options. I have these field maples, a couple of them I could maybe go with. And I've also brought in some small little trees, little oak there, and a few little ones that maybe I can plant hanging over the wall and stuff. So we'll see. We'll work away and we'll see how it goes. So the first thing I need to do. I think definitely you want to put this in, this guy in, because he'll be the main tree. So we'll get this one out the pot and we'll have a look at this one. Okay, 
just starting to get a bit of growing tips there on it. Let's see if I can get the wire out. piece of wire in there. Mm. Okay, so I'll just move this out the way for a minute. Put that down there on the floor for a second. break out this a bit. Not sure what the story is with that piece of wire. Where it's coming from. Seems to be Oh that's the pretty heavy wire that was holding the drain screen in I think. Disturb the roots too much on this. Oh, there's another wire there. I'm just going to basically rake off the weed, weeds off the top. Like so. I want to keep it as a flat base like that so it sits nicely in the pot and just trim a few of them back a bit there's a couple of long ones here okay so let's move that back down there plan is to put him in behind the wall but high enough that you can see the root base so that's telling me we are going to have to reach out the roots a bit I'll just reach out the roots and stuff and we'll come back then okay so I'll just rake the roots out a bit so I've got this side a bit flat so we can go up closer to the wall it looks a good height, you can just see it through the broken piece of the wall there. Could maybe come up slightly higher. Just bring it up a tiny bit more. Not there. over all this to keep it all from blowing away keep my wall in place like that this might just end up a temporary wall just to see how it goes and if it looks good then maybe we'll work on making a proper stone wall 
one day. Get the right stones. Okay, so that looks pretty good in there. I'll just tap up another small bit here. Again, we'll probably cover all this with fine like down or something and then mass it. Okay, so that's tree number one. Now, to the side, what else we're gonna put in here? Um, have this little tree, I'm not too sure what this is. We have to put that in there somewhere. these tiny feathers. So I have this one, it's got a lot of roots. We could get that growing its roots over. So maybe we'll have a look at this one next. I'll keep that mass. We can put that mass on top of the, the wall in a minute. Or at the base of the wall. Whichever. Clean all this off. It's got a massive lot of root system, so if we can keep them, we can maybe utilize them. Get them out the drainage holes. This is a um, Chinese honeysuckle, I think it is. Some sort of honeysuckle, anyway. <coughs> Trim it back a little bit. I've been too fussy, just want to trim it back a little bit. Okay. Now, I'll just break out them roots, take out the drainage screen, and get into it. Okay, I'll just give this a little rake out and we'll come back then. Okay, so <coughs> I've cleaned off the roots off this one. And I've got this little Chinese elm here cutting. So I might put that one over here like that. And then I have another one here, which I can maybe put in there. If I can get it out the pot. Is stand it in there like that so it kind of goes over the wall. Okay, so we'll just get a bit of get this one planted in. I'm sure I'll be adding to this and taking things away over different times. Let's get a little bit more of the sign behind there now. Anybody been to Ireland, you'll know that this is what it's like over here. Lots of stone walls everywhere, covered in little bushes and trees and moss and all sorts growing on them. This one, when it does take, will help to anchor the wall in. I'll just work that in this side. Weeds right, roots right in. Okay, 
eventually I might put something else back there, we don't know. We'll have to wait and see how it looks. I might just build that up there with a bit of moss till that takes. Yeah, I think I do have some finer stuff here, yeah. Get my little scoop. I'll just put some finer stuff on here. I'll just give that a spray. on the front of that then just to help the roots okay probably have a little bit too much soil at the front of this one we're going to be putting some of this finer stuff on I'm going to cover up all the perlite in there When this tree takes, I'll take away this mound and just keep the roots on the wall. <clears throat> okay, let's have a look. Do we need anything else? I'm not sure. I think we might be okay for now. We could always... <coughs> Add another tree back here. At some stage it's probably a bit big. This one's probably a bit too full to go in there, but maybe one day. But for now, this one is probably a bit, it's a bit small that one. I was going to put that one at the front, but then when I put the two other ones, I don't think I need it. Put that back in its pot. Yeah, we, we do have some of this stuff we could put in there, maybe get that growing over the wall too. over here or even a bit of moss maybe could put some what would it look like with some at the bottom of the wall Okay, so next step will be to cover all this with some of this finer stuff and then we'll get some moss. Um, No 
know it's not your normal kind of bonsai thing but I like doing little pinching things like this just playing about with it just watering Okay, so I'll go and see if I can find some moss. Okay, managed to get some moss. A little bit. It's absolutely hammering down with rain again out there, so I just rubbed a bit off some of the other trees and stuff. So, let's have a look. I've got this nice fine stuff here, so. Put that in. Across the base here. stuff again I have this little bit of time, it's like a miniature time, so maybe we could put that somewhere. Maybe use it as a bush at the front. I think that would keep the front mossed up. Maybe I'll just put it here. So it will grow over that wall there. And see if I got any more finer stuff in there. I'm going to use a bit of this heavier one. Just plug that gap. moment we're not in much of the wall but that's basically how it is here a lot of times you can't see the wall at all at all and maybe we'll just prune that one off there so that you get to see a bit of that wall okay now and just basically cover the back best we can if I find some finer moss I'll probably switch this one out but just for now it'll do for holding it in or when it takes I can trim it back Get that 
I need to just come around that corner a bit there. It's just coming over there nicely. A little bit of mass from the top there. Not the greatest of mass I got. I was just out there in the rain and the dark trying to find what I grab what I could. You know my motto, we do with what we got. Last piece here. Let's fill that in. Okay, so how's it looking? Let's move all this up the way now. Okay, I'll just give a bit of a clean up and then we'll come back and have a look at the final thing. Okay, so that's it finished. Um, we'll keep our eye on the little trees and stuff, give them a bit of a pruning. I should have put it onto a. Where did I put my turntable? Put it onto a turntable. So I'll just put it outside, out of the wind, and give it a good watering. So that's my little Irish stone wall. Again, let me know what you think. If you uh, like my videos, please subscribe, share them, share them, help the channel out. Let's get that grow over there be nice and we'll see you on the next one let's give you a little close up of it like that we'll take that bit of hump down when that roots are taken Okay, thanks again for watching, we'll see you all soon.